tonight on OD News Now. This week we will take a look at poetry at Camp Odeokwa and we have some pretty cool bug identification. Welcome to OD News Now. My name is Matt Smith. And I'm Val Dorfless. And we're with Camp Odeokwa. This week at camp, the counselors were, thought they were going on a hike, but Emily gave them a haiku. Emily, where's our haiku today? It's not a haiku, it's a haiku. Oh. So Emily, what do you mean? So today I'm challenging you all to go on a haiku hike. So what you're gonna do is to go to someplace at camp, write a haiku poem about it, and then come back and we're gonna see if we can guess what place you wrote about. So a haiku is a Japanese poem style that was invented in the 13th century. And how it goes is the first line is five syllables, the second line is seven syllables, and the third line is five syllables again. But wait, what's a syllable? So a syllable is an unbroken beat in a word. So you can think of it like pum, pin. So that adds two syllables. And I have a poem here to kind of give you guys a better example. So I'm gonna snap every time we touch a syllable. And old, silent, pond. A frog jumps into the pond. Splash, silence, again. So it's an unbroken beat in a word. Another way you can figure out syllables is by putting your hand under your chin and feeling each time it touches. Pum, kin. So every time I close my mouth, that's the end of a syllable. And then when I say the next part of the word, that's the second syllable. All the counselors were exploring nature and writing their beautiful poetry and haikus. Rachel Grass was undercover exploring the library. Hey everyone, I'm here at the Clark County Public Library in Springfield, Ohio, and I wanted to come by and see what they do here and what kind of cool programs they offer. So I'm gonna go inside and check it out. So why don't you come with me? Let's go. Gotta get my mask on. Oh look, even Mr. Bear is wearing a mask to keep other people safe while he's in public. That's wonderful. Hi, I'm Ms. Sonia. Welcome to Clark County Public Library. This is the Linsky Children's Center. Why don't you come on in and I'll show you around. Right here, we have some examples of some creations by maybe you or some friends here in town that have come to our Lego club and you have built something wonderful that we leave up for a month and you can come back and show your family and then come back the next month and do it again. Check it out. I just found all these books on different countries. There are so many different places in the world that I could learn about just by coming to the library and looking at these books. Let's keep looking. Hi, I'm Kim. I work here in Lenski with kids. Hi, Kim. What is your favorite part about working here at the library in the children's section? Well, I really love working with kids. I love the programs and of course I love to read. So everything. Okay. I heard that you have some really cool programs. Can you tell me about a few of them? Yeah. I have the Lego program. We, we give the kids an hour. We have thousands of Legos. I give them a theme and we just go to it and we just play their work. Um, I have Harry Potter where we'll do um, a craft, you know, maybe play a little paper game of some sort. And I just started a yoga story time for an eight-year-olds and I'm having a good time with that. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting us visit the Clark County Public Library today and showing us around. This place is awesome and I definitely want to come back really soon. Well, thank you so much for visiting, Rachel. We loved having you here. And hey, you guys, don't forget to check out our website for our summer reading, which starts this Wednesday, July 1st. Thanks for coming, Rachel. All right, sounds good. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, Clark County Public Library, for making learning so fun. Val, what can you tell me about fun learning? Matt, I'm glad you asked. The counselors were being goofy little kids and they were catching bugs with their nets and they found a lot of beetles, a lot of butterflies, 
and they learned how to identify them. Wow, the counselors sure have been working hard, especially to catch those bugs. Speaking of hard work, Val, you've been putting in some extra time this week. That's all we have for you tonight, folks. Stay magical, magical. Cambodia. Well.